Water in general is our most precious resource and streams are especially under siege right now. With increased demands for agriculture and municipal supply and then increased needs for the environmental aspects, there's just not enough water to go around. There's just a real need to get together and kind of work out the best issues to protect and restore streams. Incised and degraded streams are endemic to a lot of areas around the globe now. And I think Stillwater Creek and this summit helped us shine a light on the problem. People hopefully went, oh, I have that problem too. We have a lot of streams in the Pacific Northwest here that are doing just this incision. We're losing habitat. We have endangered species. We have people looking for jobs. And we also have out there grant funding periodically to help restore some of the worst streams. So my goal is hoping the summit can help put some of those things together. This training is all about giving the principles of streams and how to restore streams. A lot of stream restoration efforts were well-intentioned, but a lack of understanding about the system led them to be ineffective. The students went home with a lot of really cool things. Primarily was the way our land use is altering the hydrology, the hydro modification. They also took home a bunch of tools that are environmentally sensitive. Those are techniques we can actually employ at various sites in the stream. They learned a lot from our visiting instructors also about looking at the bigger scale, the entire stream, the entire watershed, the stream reach. They got an opportunity, I think, then to take a lot of that geomorphic information and then come out and do our stream walk and look at the stream maybe a different way. I think what's really exciting about this venue is that we can have a chance to have students get out there and actually you know, be subjected to real life situations. These are things that any of these folks that are embarking on a natural resources career, they're gonna have to deal with. The opportunity to actually get out, walk around a stream, both see some of the techniques applied and apply our recent learning to how might we approach a problem actually looking at a degraded bank or a degraded stream. You don't always get that. The last day we all put on waders and we walked about a mile upstream and looked at some of the worst reaches of the stream. The exercise was intended to get them thinking about developing an actual conceptual plan. So going from looking at the techniques to thinking about them to actually maybe designing with them. Shasta College is a fantastic location for the Stream Summit and we spent the day in a classroom and now the afternoon with about a three minute drive, here we are at the stream and we're able to do the field aspect of it. I mean, Shasta College has a great facility for doing this type of work. We've got a natural laboratory right in our backyard in Stillwater Creek, you know, right up the way. We've got John's BMP demonstration site. It's a great venue for doing stream restoration summits, BMP summits. One of the other really cool things we got to do here at Shasta College is we got to demonstrate a few of the techniques. And we got to do some geotechnical soil wraps. We got to do a vegetated, mechanically stabilized earth using brush layering and we used another technique to demonstrate a living wall using compost socks. These are both ways we can stabilize the upper banks, establish vegetation, and yet resist high flows. Shasta College gives students the opportunity to really ground truth a lot of these concepts and implement one of the things they're learning in class and that's, that's really critical. The attendees were very well-rounded. We had several private consulting engineers. We had about five members from the State Water Board. We had about four or five members from the Santa Clara Valley Water District. And very importantly, we had about 13 members from Caltrans. It's a pretty good spread of students, both from people that want to go out and do it, to people that are writing permits for this type of work and want to understand it better to folks that hire consultants to do it and just want to be more familiar with the techniques that somebody is selling them. There is a lot of uh, job opportunities restoring streams. Summits like this are great because there's a real change of ideas here. We're the technical practitioners, but there's a lot of give and take. These type of short course workshop environments are really about the best avenue somebody has to learn about these type of techniques.